Hi, I'm Mark Soja. I'm a repair tech at ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the pull string on a push mower. We'll get started by removing the starter assembly from the mower. With the starter removed, now I want to go ahead and pull all the rope out of the starter. You want to be careful as you're doing this because you're putting tension on the pulley. And if your hand was to slip and you let go of this, you could get hurt. Now lock the pulley in place by inserting a small screwdriver between the pulley and the starter housing. Now I want to remove the rope from the pulley and you can untie the knot or just cut it off. On the other end, I want to remove the rope from the handle. And again, I'll just cut the knot off. Now we can install the new rope. I want to make sure that I have the starter pulley wound up as far as it'll go. So I'll turn it until it won't rotate anymore and then back it off just to the point that the hole in the pulley lines up with the hole in the starter housing. And again, I'll lock it in place with the screwdriver. Now I'll thread the starter rope through the hole in the housing and also through the hole in the pulley. I'll just tie a knot at the end of the rope. And then place the knot in the pocket on the starter pulley. Now I'm going to hold the rope and remove the screwdriver and slowly allow the rope to coil back into the pulley. I don't want to let all the rope go back in or we'll have to start over. Once I have about 18 inches or two feet of rope extended from the starter housing, I'll go ahead and tie it off in a knot. Now I can replace the starter handle. I'll just thread the rope through the handle. And again, tie it off with a knot. Now I can remove the knot that we temporarily tied in the rope. And to finish up, we'll just mount the starter assembly back onto the lawnmower. And that's all it takes to replace the starter rope on a push mower.